Winning or losing the World Cup has a lot to do with talent and grit, but it also depends on unseen forces. When a player sends the ball soaring through the air, the ball's flight is governed by the laws of physics. A team of scientists in the US and Japan has shown exactly how this works. At the University of Tsukuba in Japan, researchers measure the aerodynamic forces on a soccer ball in a wind tunnel. Their data is sent to the University of Lynchburg, where John Eric Goff analyzes this and puts this into computer simulations. Goff simulations show how airflow around the ball changes from turbulent to laminar as the ball slows down through the drag crisis. From these simulations and initial conditions, like launch speed and angle, the researchers can tell how and where a ball will travel. This year, Professor Goff and his team analyzed data from the soccer balls kicked at the World Cup. The team compared the official match ball of the 2018 World Cup, the Adidas Telstar 18, to the bazooka, the ball from the last World Cup. Slight differences in the surface features of the balls alter the drag force. One fascinating effect is called the drag crisis, the point when a ball goes from moving quickly with turbulent airflow around it to moving more slowly with laminar airflow around it, which can more than double the drag coefficient. Jabalani suffered from a drag crisis at too large a speed where many free kicks and corner kicks take place. The Telstar 18 may not travel as far for high-speed kicks as the Brazooka, the 2014 World Cup ball. Goff always gives students the chance to work on research like this. If you're interested in physics and sports, why not put the two together at the University of Lynchburg and be part of the team that predicts the way the next World Cup ball will travel?